Welcome back. We've got more returns. Return season is underway. Loads more cool cards. I can't really wait to share these with you. Should we see? Oh, 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 bit of a mic in there. Bit of a mic. So let's just move these back just a tad little bit. Um, so we're actually going to start off with Kieran. Um, so hopefully, let's see how happy you are with your grade. And we're actually going to start off with a poor one. Might not be the best start, but we're going to continue on. Near Mint 7 with your Articuno. Near Mint 7 with your Azumarill from Neo Genesis First Edition. They are very hard to grade. An excellent Mint 6 Pichu. Mint 99, your Angry Pikachu. SM183. Does look very angry with the Thunder Jolt there. SM184 EV promo. A lot of the promos that we've forgotten about, because it's taken them so long to go back, a lot of the promos we've forgotten about now are coming back graded. It's good to see. But a Shining Lugia SM82. As well, beautiful card. The Dene GX from Unbroken Bonds. Gem Mint 10. As well as the Reshizard. Full art. Love the red on this. I much prefer it over the Hyper personally. Gem Mint 10. And as I say that, we have a Blastoise GX Secret. Which achieved the Mint 9 grade. But Gardevoir and Sylveon brought us back up to the gem. It is good doing these. ho -Oh GX Mint 9 from Shiny Vault. Oh, these are cool, to be fair. Uh, these are from the Vending Series. The Vending Series 5, Mint 9. Very, to be fair, Mint 9 in these is basically a Gem Mint 10. Uh, the condition of these isn't always brilliant. They're very, very delicate. Team Rocket, Mint 9. Ash Team Rocket, Prism. Really love that Mint 9. We then got a Psyduck and a Wigglytuff. They're looking very sad. Very sad. All confused, one or the other. But they're away from the fire. Jigglypuff with a load of ink. Uh, mint 9, absolutely banging it on these uh, cards, all Mint 9s, very common to get excellent Mint 6s on these cards due to the delicacy, and as I say that, an excellent Mint 6 appeared, the Lady Bat, so there was only like 4 or 5 of these uh, released, the first appearances, the Lugia goes for a big, big amount of change, uh, but these are very collectible now, and there's the Slow King, then there's a Mew Animation Series 3, Mint 9, and then the Light Dragonite from Neo 4 as well. So we start off with your second stack, and we've got a Pikachu Outbreak, as you can see. There's loads of Pikachus in a Ferris wheel. Gem, Mint 10. We then have your second Pikachu Outbreak, Mint 9. An Ampharos Cruel Traitor with a beautiful moon in the background. Gem, Mint 10. Swablu, also with a Gem, Mint 10. Gem, Mint 10s are starting to flood in now with the Altaria. Glaceon. Looks very serious, this Glaceon, like something's going on. Happy Loving Dragonite, Mint 9. Shining Lugia, also Mint 9. Pikachu promo from Japanese, so this is the Pikachu World promos. These are pretty amazing. Oh, there's only just the one this time. But Eevee, Shaman Level X Collection Pack, Mint 9. Got Latia soaring across the seas, Mint 9. Gem Mint 10 on Ultra Shiny GX. I remember we got quite a bit of this when it came through. Uh, so looking forward to seeing these come back. They've got this amazing... Cracked Ice Reverse Effect. And that's every single reverse foil from Ultra Shiny. Gyarados, Garchomp, Half Deck, Mint 9. Uh, we've got a Pikachu Pokemon Center promo there, Mint 9. Pikachu 7-Eleven, Pikachu, Mint 9. Obviously, Kieran is a big fan of the Pikachu promos. Mint 9, and then a Mint 9 again. A lot of Mint 9s on these Japanese promos. Um, then a Nim and 8 on the Psyduck Munch. Eevee. With a mint nine, roll it with a mint nine. I think these uh, cards will tell the test of time. To be fair, I think, really think they're amazing, unique artworks. And then got a Pikachu up there with a gem mint ten with from the Mewtwo and Mew special box. Pretend comedian Pikachu because it is just so funny. Gem mint ten, Magneton from Ultra Shiny. Gem mint ten. That's what we want to see. A bit of a streak at the end for Kieran here. Mewtwo GX, Detective Yoshida. Gem Mint 10 as well. Love these cards. I think they're just epic. And Shibuya's Pikachu Gem Mint 10. And also Gem Mint 10 to end us. Kieran, I think you've done incredibly well there. So thank you very much for using Graded Gem. And these will be on to the way to you soon. Up next is Gavin. Gavin, sorry. Uh, Side of Munch promo. Mint 9. And a Gem Mint 10 on your Charizard V Max. Beautiful card. Congratulations, Gavin. Ross, you're up next. And you're starting off with a Hypno Mint 9 from Fossil, which is a solid grade. On any Watsy cards, very honest. Uh, Vaporeon, near Mint 8. A Pidgeot from Base Set 2. Uh, just a beautiful Holofoil pattern. Mint 9, but then a Gem Mint 10, Butterfree Unlimited. Can't be a very big pop, this one. Congratulations there. Blaine with the near Mint 8. Zapdos, Blackstar, excellent Mint 6. But a Gem Mint 10 on the Moltres. That's what we want to see. And excellent Mint 6 again with the Deoxys promo. Team up, free pack Blister. 
Nim and A on the Rocket Cypher really coming at you. And then the Chansey with the Mint 9. And your last card is a Nim and A Hound or Either way, hopefully you're happy with those results. Bruno, you're up next with a Zapdos first edition Italian near mint seven. A poor one, unfortunately. I'd imagine you'd know that he was going to get this grade. However, it still looks great in a slab. But you know what looks even better? A Gyarados Gold Star, Japanese gem mint ten. And I think it's one of the better gold stars for me. Fire type Gyarados, you can't go wrong. Gem mint ten. Then I have the Lance is Gyarados, gem mint ten as well. First edition, obviously a Gyarados fan. Then a good two on the Cyber End Dragon Cybernetic Reversal Ultra Rare. Um, obviously a big thing up there. I'm surprised they didn't get a poor one. And the Blue Eyes White Dragon also first edition getting the poor one with a big bend through it. Near Mint 8 on your Canadian first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then a Portuguese first edition Mint 9. That's a solid, solid grade to be fair. Um, and then Portuguese again. Mint 9 last but not least. Mint 9 Red Eyes Black Dragon Portuguese first edition. Bruno hopefully happy with those grades. Hi, right, what's up? It's Randy from uh, Randolph. Today I'm looking at the returns for Joe from Omnipoke. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. Great guy, done a podcast with him. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through his returns. This is Randy reporting live from Gradio Gem Studios. Um, but yeah, let, let's, check, let's check this out for real. We have A. If you see me looking left or right to you, it's because I'm looking at the screen. Because, um, you know, it's easier, it's bigger, it's, it's, it's better lighting, you know. So anyway, let's go. Let's go, Joe. I hope for some good grades from you guys. Did I edit this? Cause I, I, usually now I would pause and tell my editor to edit that out, but I don't think they do. So I made a mistake, gotta live with it. Anyway, we've got a Pichu from Japanese Neo 2. Pichu again in a nine, mint nine. We have the Snorlax from the CD promo. Uh, great card, I sent a few of these in myself as well. Um, don't know what grade I've got. So congrats to you, Joe. Blastoise CD promo with the nine. That's fantastic, I love this set. That's one of the greatest art, Blast, Blastoise artworks of all time. Oh, look at the Swirl as well. Goodness me, that swirl's fantastic. Swirls get girls. So, Joe, congratulations on your new relationship, mate. We got a Scyther Hollow in a 10 from Japanese Jungle. We have another Scyther in a 10. Goodness me. I love Japanese cards, man. Those who are watching this, they're so they're so cool. Um, look at that. The hollow Foil is just... In my opinion, the Japanese Hollow Foil is better for the jungle uh, fossil base. It just is. We got a 10 on the Meneganium. Or as, as Connor would say, Meganium. Uh, there we go. 10 on the Meganium. Beautiful. We got a 9 on the Meganium next. Mint nine. We have a another Meganium, this time with a nine as well. But uh, it's a difficult card to get, I believe. J Japanese is is produced better, you know. In my well, again, this is not really Genesis Randolph's opinion right now. Um, produced better in terms of like the, the the surface corners edges, but centering is the main criteria. I feel sometimes lets Japanese cards down, but uh, obviously it's dependent. Oh, we got the ten there though. Gem mint ten on the Meganium. Right there, we've got another Gem Mint 10. I'm excited for Pokemon Snap as well. That might be out by the time this returns video is out. I'm not sure how the guys are going to do it, but Meganium is one of the you know cover photos or cover Pokemon in the game. It was in the trailer. It glows up. Oh, we've got the Typhlosion 17, but obviously in Japan it's 157. This is not the version with the... So I think this is the corrected version, but there's a rarer version out there with the... I think it's got plus after the 60 or... And it shouldn't have. So, yeah, look out for that if you do have any of those cards in your collection. Mint 9 on the Heracross. Great Pokemon. We've got a Mint 9 again. We have a Mint 9 again. We have a Mint 9 again. We have a 9 again. But this time on the Blaine's Moltres. And what a card. Let's let's just take a moment to just... Oh, look at that swirl right there. Could be the thumbnail, as the guys always say. But it's not going to be the thumbnail, to be fair. We have a Raichu. Lieutenant Surge Raichu. Raichu in a 10. Lovely. Another one, but in a nine. We have a another one in a nine. We have a another one in a ten this time. Let's go. That's fantastic. Nine again. So we're playing, you know, we're playing hopscotch. Nine versus tens. A ten right there. Look at it's like a chessboard. You could lay these out and create a chessboard between tens and nines. A ten right there. Joe, did you did you stumble upon a gold mine of, of Japanese cards? I mean I'm not sure what month this is. Is this, is this Express or is this May? I think it might be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when is this from. But um, I think it's a standard submission. So, therefore, you've had these for time. You know what I'm saying? My guy my guy collected these. Oh, Blaine's Arcanine. Or Arcanine, as I like to say. What a great card. A fantastic card there. Congratulations. We've got a Scyther. Rocket Scyther. In the Mint 9. Giovanni's Gyarados in the Gem Mint 10. Let's go. Absolutely fantastic. Nine on the Gyarados. Nine on the Gyarados again. Eight. 
eight on the Gyarados here. Giovanni's Gyarados. Oh, look at that. Double, oh, double Swirl as well. Maybe Triple Swirl? Nah, Double Swirl. Damn. Oh, Sabrina's Alakazam with a gem in 10. That's fantastic. Spoons. Another 10 right there. Another 10 right there. Oh, nine. Almost got the four, Pete. What, what do I have behind it? Oh, Sabrina's Gengar in a 10. Are you mad? Sabrina's Gengar in the gem mint 10. With a sw that's, the, that's the biggest swirl I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at this bottom left. Goodness me. Oh. That's beautiful. That, that could be the thumbnail. Sabrina's Gengar in a 10. We've got a 9 behind it. One of the best cards ever made, in my opinion. A 9 behind that. And I know on the pile across from me, there's even more Gengar. So let me grab those. Bam, there we go. An 8 this time, though. But it's okay. You got a 10 and you got loads of 9s. Another 9 right there. Another 8 right there. Oh, now we have the Chansey from Gym 2, which has never made it to English. I don't I don't believe. Well, I do believe, sorry. I don't think it ever made it to English. Um, I know Josh Zerka bought one of these recently in a 10. Um, great card, great artwork. Obviously, it's another one of those cards where you can like write your name. Uh, I'm not sure what, what we would refer to this card as, whether it's like a birthday Chansey or whatever, but we've got the Gym 2 Chansey. You can name it whatever you want. You know, It could be Randy's Chansey, but this time it's Joe's. It's not mine. Uh, Mint 9, another one. We have a Mint, another one. Gym 2 Chansey, darling. We have a 10 right there. That is good. That's a good grade, obviously. Gem in 10. You can't get better. You actually can't. Gem in 10 again. No way. This is, I'm getting jealous. Oh, another 10 right here. Damn. The guy's looking. I'm, I'm gonna take, <laughs> I was going to make a joke about taking the cars, but it's not appropriate. But it is just banter. Not, rep not representative of graded gem services. Another one in a 10. Oh, now we have the Sabrina's Gengar. With the with the, the band Sabrina's Gengar. It's flipping you off. You know? It's giving you the finger. That's not acceptable, Sabrina. Stop it. We got a 10 there, a 9 here. And I know since whenever these were sent off, that card has you know, rapidly increased in, in value. We've got another mid 9, so two, 1 10, 2 9s, 3 9s, 4 9s. Ooh, Southern Islands now. We've got a, a Jigglypuff, Southern Islands. That's it. We've got the Weeping Bell in the background. We've got the the, the, the Doe Trio. I think, that's, I think that's Doe Trio. The Ladybird, Reverse Hollow. In an 8, we have. Oh, oh did it count as a Hollow? We have the, uh, the yeah, that's a hollow in the Japanese Southern Islands. It doesn't have the r weird reverse, reverse foil that we, had, that we have in English, the Galaxy reverse foil, you know, which is weird. It's quite unique. Uh, the Pichu had it, actually. The Pichu had it in the first start of this episode. Raticate, Mint 9. Ivysaur, Mint 9. Great set. Southern Islands, fantastic set. Toga, pretty. Uh, <laughs> hollow in an 8. Uh, the Onyx in a gem in 10, the first gem from the Southern Islands so far. Oh, Pidgeot in the 10. Don't tell Tom. Don't tell base that Tom. Mew in the mint nine. Hollow. That's lovely. That is lovely. I actually got one of these back recently in English on my Express Plus returns. And uh, happy with it, but not ecstatic. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can guess what grade that was. Uh, a 10 on the Executor. A nine on the Slow King Hollow. 10 on the War Turtle, teaching, you know, Horsey how to spit bars. Primate banging out a Venomoth. Very mean, mate. Stop doing that in a 10, though. Vile Plume. Two of them in a eight. Well, one card, but two, you know, doesn't count as two cards, unfortunately. Mint nine with the Lickitung and the Ratatata. Lapras and the Baby Dratini. Oh, just Dratini. I'm not sure how old it is. Uh, in the mint nine, we have the Mariel in the mint nine hollow. We have the Tentacruel with the Dragon out in the back. I love this card. In the gem mint 10, we have the Butterfree in mint nine. Oh, now we get to the Versus series or the, or the VS, VS cards. And this is where I get. You know, incredibly jealous, you know, because I love these cards. I want these cards. In fact, Joe, maybe we've got to talk business, you know what I'm saying? If you have any of these that are for sale, let me know because I really like them. But anyway, we'll talk privately. Uh, we've got a far fetch right there. Look at the artwork, man. These are exclusive to Japan as well, so they never reached the English sets, which is, to me, it's extra special. Um, we've got a far fetch there in the Gemin 10. Oh, there's more. Far fetch in the 9. Deli Bird in the 10. Goodness me. Another Deli Bird in the 10. Another Deli Bird in a 10. Oh my goodness. I'm going to rub these. I'm going to just joking again. <laughs> Look at that. Another Deli Bird in the, in the How Gem in 10. How are you in our studio? Um, uh, well, I, I walked in. Um, 
Just to let you know, guys, we didn't know he was here. <laughs> he just he's just turned up and started doing PSA returns. Well, I know I know Joe, so <laughs> I thought I'd take it for myself to you know reveal these to the people. Nah, it's just a, a practical joke, guys. They obviously know who I am and why I'm here. Oh, the Gengar in the ten, licking your mum. Sorry, Anna. Can I go in? You might have to cut things out. Gengar in the Oh, you've got multiple Joe. We have to talk. We have to talk, bro. Mint nine, Gengar. Morty's Gengar. You guys don't even know who Morty is, you know what I'm saying? You're just Gen 1ers, mate. I don't know. I know some people played Gen 2, but like not everyone, you know. Anyway, Marowak with the 10. Oh, another Marowak with the Joe, we gotta swap, we gotta do some trades, mate. I'll trade you. I don't know what I can trade you to be fair. Marowak in the 10 again. Oh, look at the castle in the background. Yeah, these cards are elite, mate. Another 10 in the Marowak. Ride you in the 10. Look at that illustration, mate. It's so 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 stupid, but it's good. <laughs> Oh, another 10 in the Raichu. Another 10 in the Raichu. Oh, my goodness me. Someone call the police because this is illegal right now. Raichu in a 10 again. No way. Oh, my God. How many Raichus you have, Joe? Surely you can sell me. Surely you can trade one of these. Maybe just give me one. You don't need this many, mate. <laughs> Jolteon in a 10. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Jolteon in a 10 once more. Jolteon in a 10 once this is getting. Oh! I'm frozen the tent. Moon in the background, Connor. I've, I've spotted a moon in the background. Do I have to ring a bell or something? <laughs> oh, that Gramble is so good. It looks like it wants to fight you. Chuck's Gramble. Oh, in a ten. Oh, I want, it. I want this one. Oh, in a ten again. Oh, another gem in ten. No way. Blastoise in a ten. Look at his claws, man. I want this card. Oh, he's got two of them. Joe. Joe, sort me out, mate. Oh, Gyarados in the 10. Look at that. It's attacking someone. Clears Gyarados. About to attack another Pokemon. Oh, another Gyarados in the 10. A Dragonite in the 10. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. That is so good. Bro. Oh, he's got another one. Oh, he's got another one. Oh, these cards are so good. Oh, Joe, mate, congrats. A 10 again. The camera's catching up slowly, but there you go. Another 10. Oh, my, this is silly. This is silly. Leave a like on the video right now. Subscribe to the Greater Gem channel. Subscribe to Omnipoke. Go and check out their channel. Joe. Why is it not focusing? There we go. Oh, and another right here now. This time, Lieutenant Surgeon, a 10. This, art, this artwork's so good. Like, I'm actually, like, kind of... I, I always like it when certain cards don't make it over to the, to the English set because, like... Gives us a reason to go and find something that's a bit rarer than what we used to. And Joe has done that. Oh, another 10. Joe's done that right here. He's found he's found those those cards and he's found them in gem mint, mate. Not even just mint. Not even near mint. He's found them in mint. And I've seen a card already that I actually paid a lot of money for recently off of uh, eBay. So I won't be contacting you for this one, but I'm still jealous. Sabrina's Espeon. Look at that. It's gray. Like, they just made a mistake or like they've, they've interpreted the color wrong. But that's unique, you know, it's a grey Espeon. We all know Shiny Espeon is green. Maybe maybe back then it wasn't too fair in Gen 2. Oh, another 10. Are you, are you, are you insult? Oh, there we go. I thought you just, like, did this whole submission just to, like, make me feel upset. But no, I'm happy for you. Uh, Quagsire. This looks like a Loch Ness Monster. I reckon they've done that. They've tried to have that, like a Loch Ness Monster. But to be fair, like, Gar uh, uh, Quagsire, Quagmire, Quagsire, it's not a uh, Loch Ness Monster. Oh, Blaine's Typhlosion. I bet you didn't even know Blaine had a Typhlosion on your Gen 1. But look at that. He does, mate. Plains Tide Flosion in a gem mint 10. Oh, and another one in a gem mint. I'm so... Oh, and then we got the Flareon. Karen's Flareon in a gem mint 10. Another one in a gem mint 10. No way. No way. We have a another one. You know what? You, you guys need to hire DJ Khaled just to come in here and just say another one. Throughout the entire submission. Another one. Yeah. Flareon. Oh, the Hound. Is this May? Yeah. May. Standard. Wow, Joe I smashed it. <laughs> Houndoom. Is it two in a... Three in a row? Oh, yeah, Joe, you have to... Joe, just be... My, I'm, I'm, I love you, Joe. Have I ever told you, like, how, how much I love you? Nine in the Gyarados there. Lance's, Lan Lance's Gyarados in the nine. Lance's Gyarados in the ten. A nine right there. A ten right there. We're playing hopscotch again. We're playing chess. Oh, the Dragonite. Lan Lance's Dragonite. Now, we know Lance loves his Dragonites. How many does he need? They should have done a design for each one that Lance has. Um, 
I dro- <laughs> Gem in 10 right here. I mean, I'm, I'm in too much awe. Anyway, another 10 right there. Another 10 right here. Lancer's Kingdra. Do you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to say like, there's, there's like three drag- like Lancer's Dragonites, right? When they were like, when they were taking these photos, do you think the other two got sad that they weren't included? And they only went with one. I would feel really insecure if like the Lancers one got photos in into a card. I'm waffling anyway. King Joe right here. 10, 10, 10. Ooh. And now we're going, we're going new. We're going more modern now. We have a Lily and Cosmog from the special box. 2017. That is beautiful. Look at the hollow fall as well on the entire card, mate. Talk about, it's not hollow bleed, but you know, when we talk about hollow bleeds, that's what we usually expect. But look at that. Oh. Lily. And another one, Lillian Cosmog again in the Gem Mint 10. Let's get some focus on these because these are brilliant. These are fantastic. Oh, the Mega Tokyo Picho, P- Pikachu XY promo. Look at that. Mega Charizard. <laughs> Vaporeon in a 10. Vaporeon EX, that's lovely. Jolteon in a 10. Do we have a Flareon behind this? That's the question. That is the question that we start these better. No, no Therion. So you get clickbaited, mate. We have a Pikachu, a Mega Charizard. Is it from the same set, from the same box? Pokemon Center promo, yeah. In Gem Mint 10. Oh, the Charizard, the Poncho Pikachu. What's the camera doing now? Let me hold it like this. Look at that. Mint 9. Charizard, Mega Charizard X. You know, the, the, the Dragon and Fire type. The uh, black and blue one. We got, oh, the. Oh. Oh, Summer Battle Road, Rayquaza in a Gem Mint 10. You hate Rayquaza, don't you? I know you do, Joe. You hate it. You hate Rayquaza so much. Necrozma, Full Art in a 10. Ooh, CP6 Mew, 20th anniversary, Hollow in a 10. I I, I have I sent some of these. I've not got the grades back yet, but I sent some of these too. Very good card. Look at that swirl as we're there as well, mate. Swirls get girls, as you know. Oh, Charizard Gem Mint 10 on the CP6 20th anniversary. I, I love this card. I, I often say this card looks nicer than the English base set, unlimited version. Just because the Hollow Fall was better. Like, I, I, th- I think they did a better job at reprinting the CP6 from base Japanese into CP6 than they did going from base unlimited or first edition or shadowless into evolutions i was i always think that i always have that opinion on another one right here we got a nine this time so congratulations on both of these grades to you we have a oh i love this card yeah this is one that you got in the promo box in english but you actually had it yeah you, you, you had to pull it in um in cp6 as a, as a sr um so there we go look at that fiery charizard magma in the background as well we have a oh my life we have the gem mint 10 on the ultra shiny gx and this this looks so much better than the Hidden Fates version, it just does. Like I've actually never pulled this card in Ultra Shiny. I think I only opened like two boxes of Ultra Shiny and I never posted them. I filmed them up, forgot to post them. Um, but they're amazing. Like the, the surface is better. Just looks so much better, man. Like I'm telling you guys, Japanese cards are the way. Look at that Charizard. Oh, and then we have the final card, I believe. We have a, oh, we have a Mew- Ultra Shiny GX, full art Mewtwo this time. And again, look at the, just look at the, Oh, I need to get one of these, you know, in, in, in Japanese because it just visually it looks better. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's up to you whether you agree. But personally, I just I think these are great. Oh, look at them. This could be a thumbnail. <laughs> That's what you guys say, right? This could be the thumbnail shot. Yeah, yeah. Just had to throw that one in there. Like yeah. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> But there we go, guys. That's all of the uh, returns for, for Joe from Omnipoke. So go and check his channel out. If he has an Instagram, go and click that. Go and show some support. And like this video and subscribe. And now I'm passing it on you guys on to Tom or Connor or Sam. Or John. Or your mum. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that from Randolph. But now we're going to move on with boring old me. So we've got Adrian now. Uh, Adrian, what a card to start with. Shining Charizard near Mint 8. Uh, we then have a very good excellent four in your Dark Charizard first edition. Good two. Seems to be going down in grades, unfortunately. Uh, but then back up we go, straight to the top. We have Kawaii, Gem in 10, Burning Shadows. And guys, Burning Shadows is a hard set to grade. So that is a top, top grade. Charizard EX, Wild Blaze, Gem in 10. 
then another copy, Gem Mint 10, then another copy, I'm not going to say it again, I'm not going to say it again, but there's another one, and then we've got a Magnazone EX from Wild Blaze, Gem Mint, Toxicroak EX, Gem Mint, a few of those actually, in fact, they do look great, don't they? Mega Charizard EX, Wild Blaze, Gem Mint 10, the Kangaskhan EX, Gem Mint 10, I think Adrian, you are going to be a very, very happy man. Uh, with all these gems just firing off. Look at that. Stunning with that red background. Gem Mint 10. And another one. This Wild Blaze has done you incredibly well. Pokemon Center Lady. Oh, and well, one down. You know, one, that's fine. You know, I'm sure we'll get over that one. But back up we go straight away for the Charizard VMAX start set. Gem Mint 10. And again. And again, Gem Mint 10. And again, Gem Mint 10. And... We got them all. We got a triple up. Uh, well done, Adrian. Todd, you're up next. We're starting off with a Politoed Soul Silver Collection first edition and a Zoomeril as well. Gem Mint Ten. Heracross reaching up for the stars. Gem Mint Ten. Mint Nine on your saluting Wobbuffet. Uh, Pokemon Reversal. Heart Gold Soul Silver there. First edition. Gem Mint Ten. The Gem Mint 10 on the Grass Energy, which is just stunning with the Celebi, obviously. Uh, chilling in the background. Mewtwo EX with an uppercut punch there. Take your chin right off. Cherish Ball, Gem Mint 10. I'm loving these gems. That's always a good sight to see. Professor Sycamore from Steam Seeds now. Gem Mint 10, so English card here. Still getting the Gem Mint 10 grade. Jarazar GX, Mint 9 from Hidden Fates. Then Cosmic Eclipse with the same. Gyarados GX from Kim Crimson Invasion Gem. That set was just a Gyarados set, wasn't it? Like, there was no need for anything else. Dragonite GX Unified Mines Gem Mint 10. Mr. Mime GX from Celestial Storm Gem Mint 10. Mewtwo GX Hidden Fate Gem Mint 10. My jaw's hurting so much by saying that. Wobbuffet V from Sword and Shield. Bede as well from Sword and Shield Gem Mint 10. Marnie also. And last but not least, Professor's Research Secret Sword and Shield Gem Mint 10. Jamie, you're up next. Uh, last but not least, I might add, we've got a beautiful Blaine's Arcanine now uh, from Jim. A Jumpluff from Neo 3. Mint 9, but there we go. A Tyranitar, Neo 2, Gem Mint 10. And then the Houndor as well. Houndoom, Neo 2, Mint 9. I think we've got a lot of the old Watsy cards here. Rockets, Moltres, Mint Knight. Not a big fan of this artwork, person. I think the Blaine looks so much better. But I am a big fan of this card. This is my favourite card ever. Artwork ever. And it is a Gem Mint 10. Light Arcanine. Congrats. I, I should really pick this up in Japanese, I think. Just to go with my English copy. We've got Leafeon EX. Gem Mint 10. Mew EX. Stunning card, this one, from the Shiny Collection. Just look at that holofoil pattern. Gem Mint 10. Pikachu with friends is what I call it always. Gem Mint 10. Uh, Gem in 10. I might as well just uh, put myself on repeat. I might just ask the guys editing this to get the audio. Just put Gem in 10 after every single one because that's what we're seeing loads of. Sheer Boost Pikachu. Uh, a bit naughty with the graffiti cam, but that's all good. He's cute. Min 9. Gem in 10. Gem in 10. Mint 9, loads of these promos have gone off, I think, in the time these were sent off. Shining Lugia now with a Gem Mint 10 grade. Uh, Yokohama's Pikachu, really nice to see all these brilliant results from everyone. Uh, just makes the weight that little bit nicer, doesn't it? Gem Mint 10 again, and again. Load of these promos, Yokohama's Pikachu promo. Back down to a Mint 9 this time, and another Mint 9. But there we go. We've got an Eevee Hollow now. Something a bit different. Pikachu and Eevee. Hopefully they're playing in this. You know, they're not just chasing each other. Big boy Charizard EX from Koro Koro Magazine. Eevee. Hidden Fates. Mint 9. And the last card is Mint 9 SM211. Overall though, I think you're going to be ecstatic with those, Jamie. So congratulations. And thank you everyone who has submitted in this video. These cards were absolutely... I think none of you can have any complaints. So congratulations. Uh, and thanks for Randolph for co-hosting too. See you soon.